Right. So here we go then, our super final lineup. Spurs Craig Dolby on pole from Alvaro Parent in the Porto car. Max Vissel, our race one pole man, is third from John Martin. Sebastian Bourdais and Chris Vanderjift complete the half dozen cars that will go through for the super final. So, super final, what's it all about? Take a look at this. Lights out, away we go, it's a standing start. Five laps is all they've got to deal with, and it's the super final. It's all about bringing everything to a conclusion, because what we find in nearly all motor racing, traditionally, once it's over, it's over. You have this tremendous build-up, and then it's finished. I think it's great, super final. Short shootout for the winner, great prize money as well. It's going to have a lot of action over five laps, and I think the, uh, the fans will connect with it, it'll be great. Everybody's rushing down the pit lane because Timekeeper has an instant calculation of the points. He radios through to me, and we're informing the six teams. Then all rush I think it's us, I think it's us, and you know, it's just the huge buzz, and then you get these six cars on the grid for this final. Pushing hard, but don't crash the car. It's going to be an exciting race with the drivers this year with five laps for the, the dash for cash. The super final victory here at Estoril, 100,000 euros. We actually like to, to add little bits and pieces, and in the end, we decided to add points. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the dash for cash, and it's serious cash this year. But in addition to that, these points could make a difference at the end of the year. Everybody is scratching for points, they want points. And six points for the winner of that, it's another six points in the weekend. And you never know, we might get to the last race of the season and that could mean everything. Well, there's no question about that. Added wrinkle this year, adding points for the Super Final as well, could really make a big weekend for somebody like Craig Golby even bigger. If you can score well in both and then this. But of course, you know, drivers like everybody else are only human. And so that 100,000 euro which the winner gets in prize money, depending on his deal with the team, that's a really big uh, apple dangling in front of them as well. Oh yeah, definitely, that has to be a huge apple win. It's a really interesting mix this super final. You've got Chris Vanderdrift, first ever super final who compete in Craig Dolby, FC Basel, uh, FC Porto, and in the background, Atletico Madrid, and as well, Sebastian Bourdais. I don't know where he is on the circuit because we can't see him, but it's fantastic to have him, him in there. He was the fastest on the track, and he will charge. Well, it's a chance perhaps for Max Vissel to uh, make his weekend a little bit better. John Martin as well. I'm sure if you'd asked him before the weekend, oh, yeah, well, hopefully we'll get in the super final, but realistically, well, maybe not. He's there nonetheless, and that great performance in race two is really what sealed it for him. But the man who's been overall the top scorer, Craig Dolby, there he is. Now, of course, this is different again because after two rolling starts, now for the final one of the weekend, it's a standing start. Drop the clutch, feed in the revs, away we go. So that's an extra little bit of added spice as well. Yeah, no, exactly, and this is where the pressure is. You know, they're gonna just come around, line up, and they're gonna have to take a start feel the clutch you know it'd be different if this was the last race of the season but it's the first one there's lots and lots of pressure and of course 100,000 euros here's the man of the moment that just won the race had his helmet off celebrating on the podium and five minutes later he's back in the car and about to do a shootout okay so Sebastian Bourdais comes to the grid and as he does so of course with that race one disappointment behind him race two win looking not too bad in the championship but there's no question who our leader is as we get into the super final that is Tottenham Hotspur and Craig Dolby but with more points on offer as we said in this super final it is not yet done yeah no, so exactly as you see Craig Dolby lining up on that top spot so Dolby on pole and Alvaro Parent alongside him. Confirmation of the championship standings as of now. Craig Dolby with Spurs on 86. Porto in second place, seven ahead of Basel. Atletico and Olympic Lyonnais are tied in fourth and fifth positions. And the best result in race one goes to decide the split. Away they go. Good start by Porto. And uh, Porto lead, Craig Dolby's going to have to fight very hard indeed. Yeah, Craig Dolby's going to have to fight bad. He lost the start and that was so crucial. It's going to be difficult to pick back the FC Porto car. He's got a lot of experience, but slides coming down the straight. And also you see Sebastian Bordet there. He's going to look to try and charge up the order. 
Now he's right behind Olympic Lyonnais, is right behind Olympiakos. As Perent goes on the defensive, here comes Dolby. What's he got in terms of speed? Not enough, but Perent goes in flat and so oh, no. out wide. He was on the wrong line going in, and it was always a chance that Dolby would strike down into the veil. Didn't need to, he had the inside line, and Perent drifted out wide. He's down to third, down to fourth as Vanderbilt shoves him out of the way, down, down to, to fifth. fifth. Uh, that was a disaster for Alvaro Perent. Craig Dolby leads, but look who's right behind him. Fastest in qualifying. He's looking at the inside. Doesn't oh, get huge it done into by Abbey. Craig Dolby. Oh, oh no, no. Well, Alvaro's gone. He's uh, just lost it there. But wow. Craig Dolby, man on a charge. Yes, he is. He's the man on the mission. FC Basel's Max Vissel looked down the inside of Abbey, couldn't get anything done, and lost too much ground. And now Bordet is really hassling for third place, just in the background. Bordet pushing very hard indeed. Olympiakos again holding him off. Vanderdrift now knows he's only got another four laps to hang on for the top three position. Money goes all the way down the order. I'm sure for some of these teams, the uh, extra bonus of winning will be very handy indeed. I mean, 100,000 euros, a big addition to your budget for the weekend. That covers just about the cost of everything. Yeah, exactly. And you can see the guys pushing hard for it. And, uh, you know, you've got Bordet. He was the quickest man and he wants to charge his way through. He's got to try and look for a repeat pass. And we've got Atletico Madrid there trying to hold off. FC Porto, as I think you saw it just in the foreground. Look, Sebastian Bordet has got to look for a pass on Chris Vanderdrift here. Can he get the job done? But uh, Craig Dolby looks very comfortable out front at the moment. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? And Vanderdrift just with enough pace to hold off Bordet. Don't be suckered into coming in tight into slow and defending because then you can only ever run out wide and it is so dirty offline. You've seen the dry mud being thrown up every time somebody's done that and it costs you a place. It costs you about a second, just that one mistake. The battle for third is well alight and Max Vissel is not giving up either. I don't think Craig Dolby's getting any further away. So they come up to Abbey and again, Bordet looking to hustle his way past. His tactic now, of course, is to really pile on the pressure, force a mistake from Vanderdrift, who he knows is a rookie driver. Yeah, no, exactly, but he's got to get this pass done. If he wants to try and pressurise for the win in this uh, super final, he's got to get the job done, at least in this lap. As Craig Dolby, he's pulling away out front, but it only takes a slight mistake to lose that lead. So, uh, you know, it's a fantastic race, but Craig is uh, really composed and getting the job done. After a winter of groundworks here at Silverstone, the track is still very dirty offline. Nice amount of grip now where they're normally driving, but look, look at all those little bubbles of marble. That's how the tyre grips, by being worn away by the track, and all the rubber wears off into little balls, some the size of conkers, some the size of marbles. But whatever happens when you get onto them, you just skate off because you're suddenly lifted off the track. On board with Olympic Lyonnais. A uh, little hot perhaps into the Beckett Sesses. And got to say, Chris Vanderdrift doing a great job. He's keeping himself out of harm's reach. And uh, Bordet can't get close. Porto now trying to come back. Goes around the outside of John Martin. So Perrin goes back up to fifth place. And that's worth cash as well. All these places pay money, but more money the further forward you get. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing that we've got to think about is points here. You've got uh, six points for the win, which is very, very important. It's just those little bits of points that you gather that can ultimately win you the championship at the end of the season. And uh, Craig Dolby is looking charging out front. Craig Dolby pushing really hard. Max Vissel just being left behind him. It was 1.01 seconds at the line. Looks like Dolby might have approaching an extra half second margin now. 134.7 his lap. Everybody else 135s. So he is quicker than anybody out there. And that just looked like a slight mistake by uh, Max Vissel and FC Basel because Chris Vanderdrift has certainly caught him and just set the fastest middle sector. So uh, Chris Vanderdrift on the charge now as well. Yeah, you saw Max's engineer looking just a little worried. And Vanderdrift not quite, but getting towards halfway between Vissel in second and Borde in fourth. Looks like Vanderdrift, and I'm going to say this carefully, has shaken off Sebastian Borde. Great work by the Kiwi. Yeah, no, exactly, and he's uh, very, very fast at the moment, uh, 34.7. He is a lot quicker than the man in front of him, so can he get up into second place? It would be a phenomenal drive by the Kiwi.
and FC Porto quickest on that last lap. So Alvaro Parent a long way back and uh, got dropped at the start, shuffled right down to the tail, starting to pick up a little bit of pace. Borde hasn't quite got the speed. 134.8 to the leaders, 134.5. And you're right, 134.7 in front of him by the Olympiakos driver Chris van der Gift. That's just helping him squeeze a safety margin out over the Frenchman behind him in that Olympic Lyonnais car. You know, certainly he's got a safety margin, but it's not all over between these three just here. They're doing a stellar job. Chris is still looks like he's catching Max Vissel through the infield. Let's go on board with Vissel. And of course, the cars will be as they finish the race. It's a very quick turnaround. You can maybe do a front wing adjustment. The drivers have got a cockpit adjustable roll bar so they can help to balance out the handling of their car if there's any adjustment left after race two. Uh, but uh, very, uh, very little else, you know, no major setup work. So you just bring what you've got to the grid and see how good it is. And again, we see how good the Spurs car has been through today yeah exactly and i think in five laps you can't change much you just got to get in there hustle the car and drive it as hard as you can and that's what craig dolby's really really good at and i think that's why he's so strong in the first only laps of the race and in the super final he's uh, done a stellar job as we see olympic leonay starting to catch chris vanderdrift again well, no. maybe, yeah, he was three hundredths of a second quicker than van der Gift in the Olympiakos car in front of us on that last lap. But again, just looks like he's a fraction faster this time. Maybe he's dialed in an adjustment as well and is a fraction happier with the car. Uh, Tottenham leading by 1.4 seconds at the line last time. And again, Dolby was a little quicker. Vissel just stopping the rot. And in fact, Vissel quicker on this lap so far than Craig Dolby has been our race leader. But it is lap four of five. It's going to be a real last gasp effort. And the chequered flag is waiting. They've completed lap four. Lap five of five then. Craig Dolby a second and a half in front. And this looks pretty much cut and dried, although that's not the sort of thing commentators are allowed to say. No, exactly. We always put the curse on people, but he's only got two more corners to negotiate. Let's hope he can get it done. It will be a masterclass of driving. Well, he promised he'd be aggressive. He promised he'd go out and really attack hard and have fun. And by attacking hard and being aggressive, he is having fun. Victory and 100,000 euro for Spurs. Okay, mate. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. All the way. Stop. You are the man. Yeah! Fantastic. Yeah, baby. So Craig Dolby totally underwhelmed there, obviously, by winning the Super Final. Fantastic effort. Just talking to him on Friday, he said, I've never been fitter. I trained so hard this winter, so hard. I really didn't want to leave anything undone to try and win this championship this year. And if this is the way he's going to continue for the remainder of the championship, then it would be really a surprise to see Spurs anywhere other than in contention at every race weekend. FC Basel took second from Olympiakos at the line. So didn't quite see that. We're going to have to go back and take a look at that. Olympiakos and Lyonnais were third and fourth ahead of Porto and Atletico. So what happened there? Basel able to just pull out a fraction right, over yeah, Olympiakos, but uh, Chris van der Gif ran him very close, Max Vissel, as they got to the line. In the end, Vissel had enough to stay in front, but not enough to catch the uh, Spurs car, did he? No, but uh, you know, you can't take it away from the Spurs car. They were so quick all weekend. And, you know, you talk to Craig Dolby, as you said, and he was just so, so focused. But also, he's got such an amazing attitude towards driving the car. And um, for me, he's a nice, cool, calm, collective guy out of the car, always bubbling. It doesn't matter whether he's going bad, going well and winning races. He's still the same guy outside of the car. But inside of the car, he's a real killer and uh, gets the job done out on track. But, yeah, I think it was a fantastic job all weekend. Well, he says something about his mental attitude that he refers to what happened last year as winning the vice championship. Now, that's a phrase that's often used. It's a very German phrase, vice champion they have as the runner-up in any category. But it means that he doesn't say, I came second. It means that in his mind, he was as close to winning as it gets, but without actually losing. And, and that's really something, you know, 
it's not refusing to accept what happened. It's not considering it was enough. Exactly. It's looking higher up, always setting the bar higher. And he has set the bar very high here. Wins the super final. Max Vissel could not catch him. But Olympiakos and uh, Olympic Lyonnais got so close at the line. Those three cars, second, third, and fourth, covered by just a fraction over a second. Porto in fifth. And Atletico, great start for them. John Martin scores points in all three races. So excellent start to the season. And that means that we now see a 22-point lead for Spurs over Porto. Basel in third, Olympiakos and Olympic Lyonnais are tied in fourth place on 61 points, just a couple clear of their closest rivals. But Liverpool, how the mighty have fallen this weekend. Last year's champions, they don't even have enough points to match the number one on their car. What a disaster. And here's the other side of that coin. What a weekend. Craig Dolby just looking for a moment there. I said, oh, that might have been tears of joy. Yeah, definitely. And look at him. He's talking to his car. He talks to it before the race, talking to it after the race. He is the man of the moment. Well, you can't shut him up when he wins, so Abby's going to have a work cut out for her when she gets down there. You can see the team absolutely delighted. Alan Docking Racing, based here at Silverstone, been running this car the last couple of seasons, and they have got a really good package. Engineers and drivers understand each other intimately. Their Michelin tyre technician obviously just as happy as the team are. And the mechanics... Going to be very, very pleased with that. A home race track, a home race win for ADR. And two wins from three starts. It's a fantastic event. And don't forget race two, fourth position as well from 16th on the grid. Made up 12 spots, five of them into the first corner. I mean, he was electrifying. Yeah, he was. And uh, I think you could tell that just by his attitude um, from, the first, from the first week, from the first outset. Absolutely. Right, Craig's getting his helmet off. Let's get down there. Abby Griffiths is with him. Let's hear what he has to say this yeah, time. Yeah, I am with one very happy man. <laughs> Congratulations, Craig. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, that's well done, Max. That was unbelievable. Do you know, uh, the second race was hard. Part of my uh, safety system broke in the car and it meant I couldn't turn right. My head couldn't turn right, so... Uh, that was hard and uh, we just got through that, got fourth, which uh, put us on pole and then so our, our, um, Porto struggled to overtake or overtook us then, we did him back and wow, what a race, what a race, I'm lost for words, it's great for Tottenham, you know, and I'm carrying Ben this weekend, the support for them all year, so uh, it's one wicked weekend. Yeah, absolutely, you're not lost for words when you speak to that car, what do you say to it? Uh, that's a secret, I'm sorry, <laughs> but no one can know that, but yeah. It works, so um, I'm happy. Well, just what a weekend overall, and to top it off, just to have that prize money at the end. Home track, you're new to Silverstone, just what a delight. Yeah, it's fantastic. I'd just like to say thank you to all the support, and uh, Tottenham and Alan Docking for putting their trust in me again this year, and uh, I hope I can pay it off for them. So. But Craig, you have now set a standard. Can you keep this up for the rest of the season? Uh, this is nothing yet. I'm going to push even harder, so yeah, I I'll think... be back. I think you will be a force to be reckoned with. Um, Craig, I'm delighted for you. I can feel your enthusiasm. Um, go and enjoy this evening. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. More spring in him than in the Easter Bunny. Look at it. <laughs> Fantastic. Great job by ADR. Great job by Spurs and Craig Dolby. And that broken hand system. Well, you couldn't tell from the outside that he had anything. There is the dock. And here is his boy. They put their faith in him. And if he's going to be anything like this throughout the season, that was well placed. Yeah, no, he's going to be a very, very hard man to beat. And it's quite scary when he says, this is nothing yet. Wait until... I push even harder. Yeah, God help them when they get to a track where he does know it. Of course, next up, May the 16th, Assen. Three races on the Dutch TT circuit. It's a circuit that not many of these drivers will know because it's predominantly used, of course, for motorcycle racing. But it is so fast and flowing. It's also narrow. It's going to be a real challenge for these cars. So, Silverstone, in the end, well, we got a little less rain than we were expecting, a little more perhaps than we might have hoped for. It was cold and blustery, but nothing stops the exuberance of Craig Dolby. Two wins and a fourth place and three starts.
Max Vissel, second place there. And Seb, uh, no, Chris Vanderdrift, of course, taking third ahead of Sebastian Bourdais. Congratulations to Craig Congratulations indeed to Craig Dolby. North London's pride Spurs claim victory here from FC Basel and Olympiakos looking suddenly like a real threat. If that's what Van der Drift is doing first time in the car, then you can expect it only to get better as he and the team get used to each other. He receives his trophy from Alex Andreu and he looks pretty happy, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, he must be absolutely ecstatic. Never been in the car before and straight away onto the podium. Max Vissel, second place. Poles didn't yield the win that he wanted, but he and GU Racing, FC Basel, looking very strong. No question, though, expected to be a championship front runner and right from the start, the points leader. They're going to chase him for another nine months before this trophy. The championship is decided. I hope Chris's management have done a good deal for winnings. Same too for Max Vissels. And for Craig Dolby, Ben, he referred to incidentally, is a charity here in the UK that's on his car. <laughs> Alexandre playing the joker on him. 100,000 euro go to the team for victory in the super final. And of course, as you said earlier, Earl, those extra points, very important as well. Yeah, no, hugely important. When you're coming down to the last race of the season, you'll never forget the points that they just scored in the Super Final, and they'll be um, absolutely crucial. And I don't think they realise how crucial those six points are. They're more worried about the cash right now, but it's uh, great to see the celebrations begin. Glory, glory, Tottenham Hotspur. OK, so... <laughs> Craig Dolby getting uh, a cold shower of, of about the only time that anybody wanted one this weekend. I'm sure the boys will enjoy their Easter celebration. They spent it away from their families, but it was well rewarded. All the hard effort in the build-up to the season. Steve's Spurs lead as they head now for a month's break before we get to Assen. And it has been, again, a phenomenally exciting weekend here. Now, Craig Dolby started on pole, didn't get the best of getaways. Alvaro Parent for Porto ducked inside him into the first corner and looked like he might have led it, but a mistake early on gave Dolby the lead out of Stowe. And it was a lead he was never to surrender taking the super final victory from Max Vissel of Basel and Olympiakos in third. Phew! All of which leaves us completely breathless. But again, looking forward for the rest of the season, the third year of Super League is going to be a much longer campaign. Six races in race one, in year one, eight race weekends in race two, 12 in year three. So it's a really, really long weekend and consistency is key at every weekend. And over 12 race weekends through the season, you've got to be there every time you roll out of the truck. Yeah, I think the key thing is when every single position has points, you really have to finish every single race. And as you see, I think uh, you've got a 22 point lead. I think Tottenham Hotspur around 90 points now and look at Liverpool PSC, don't finish both and you're on zero. And that is incredibly hard to come back from. And it's gonna be a challenge for the defending champions to defend that title, but it just proves that consistency is the key. It certainly is, and uh, consistent men here have really reaped the rewards. They are the guys in the top half dozen in the championship. Spurs go to the Netherlands as our points leaders from Porto, Basel, Olympiakos and Olympic Lyonnais. Atletico very close, and Flamengo Sevilla and Milan heading the chase. But as you said, Earl, it is Liverpool who have zero points scored here against 92 of the championship leader. A massive score of points still to be earned in the rest of the season but that is it from Silverstone from our dominant force Craig Dolby on behalf of everybody here thank you for joining us we'll see you next time out bye for now
ESPN.